So suppose a middle school teacher finds the, uh, or a middle school finds that their students are not scoring well on the state standardized math test. So they decide to run an experiment, uh, to try out a new alternative curriculum that, uh, to see if it'll improve scores. So to, to run the test, they hire a math specialist to come in and teach a class using the new curriculum. To their delight, they see an improvement in test scores. Now, there's a big issue with this experiment, and it's an idea called confounding. So confounding is what happens when you can't tell what caused the result of the experiment. In this case, the original treatment was the alternative curriculum. They're really wondering, is this alternative curriculum going to work? And certainly, they, they did in fact use the alternative curriculum. So that was a treatment in the study. However, they also hired a math specialist to come and teach it. And so that added a second variable to the experiment. And so it's unclear whether this improvement that they saw was due to the curriculum or whether it was due to the math specialist. It's not clear which of those factors, uh, was the cause of the, 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 the improvement. Uh, so suppose a drug company study, uh, about a weight loss pill, uh, is, uh, so suppose a study reports that people lost an average of 8 pounds while using their new drugs. Uh, in the fine print, though, it says that the participants were also encouraged to diet and exercise. And so what is the, the issue here? And so the issue here, again, is confounding, uh, where it's not clear what caused the result. Was it the, was it the drug? Uh, was it the, uh, diet and exercise? I mean, it could be, right? It's not clear which of those things actually caused them to lose that average of 8 pounds. So again, this is a case of confounding. Uh, one more. Suppose researchers conduct an experiment to determine whether students will perform better on arithmetic if the, the uh, test, if they listen to music during the test. Uh, so first, the, so they first, they, they first give the students a test without music, uh, and then give a similar test while the students listens to music, and then they see if they perform better on the second test. Uh, so there is an issue with this, and it is also confounding. Can you see what the confounding variable is? In this case, it's kind of tricky. The confounding variable is the order of testing. In this case, they always give the first test without music, and then a similar test with the music. It's reasonable to think that, particularly if the student hasn't done arithmetic in a while, that they might just need a little time to warm up, and that most people are going to do better on a second test than on a first test, regardless of whether the music has any effect or not. And so here, the order of testing is a confounding variable in the experiment. Now, if we, we could do this study, uh, and the way to control or take care of that con, uh, that confounding would be to have half the students do music, f uh, you know, without music first, then music, and then the other group do, uh, do it in the reverse order. And that way, we could see if the order was having an effect.